Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and I received a question from Videofile. It reads, does Affinity have the light and dark histogram adjustment sliders? I found the histogram, but have not found the sliders to adjust the channels. Great info. I'm in the process of dropping all of Adobe. <laughs> well, I did find, yes it does, no it doesn't, and yes it does, and I'll explain in this video. And I'm also going to do it in iPad, which is a little more tricky, but it's easy to do once you know how. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to stock photos. I type land and I'm just going to pull in any photo. I can also go to document clip canvas and that means it will make the canvas the same size as the photo. So you can go now to, uh, if you don't see it anywhere, and I usually don't keep it out, you can go right to View, Studio, if I can find it, and Histogram. And he's right, there are no sliders. I can't find anything to move this here. But here's what I found, and I thought this would work. And you could do this probably with any most of the files. But you can pick what you want to do to it. So let's say, I would say you go to the curves. And curves would be the way to put on the sliders. But leave this open. So let's go to adjustment and curves. And I'm going to show you how they relate to each other. It's the same histogram. But watch this. Say you, want, say you move the bottom to the right. And you see how it's halfway in between that blue? But well, what it does is that's like moving the slider here. Do you see how that's halfway in the blue? Let me move that back. I'll do the same with the top. Look at the red here and look at the red here. I'm going to cut off that first peak. So all I have to do is move this this way. And when I let go, I'm cutting off. See, the more I go, the more I'm cutting it off. And then I'm adding some back on, I'm adding a little more back on, and it's coming right to the end where the peak is starting again. So that's how you can move in and out. Now watch how you can move, this. you want to add spacing. Instead of going left to right, you want to, you want to kind of squeeze this, then you can go up on the left. Watch this, so I'm going to go up, and as I go up, you see all the space, and watch this as I go down. And I'm leaving more space. So that's really a way of controlling the histogram. Just leave it open and you can see what you're doing. And it also helps because now you can see what you're actually doing when you're using curves and how it affects the histogram. So now I'm going to show it in the iPad. And the iPad's a little trickier, so if you have an iPad, stick around. Okay, so now here we are in the iPad and it's a little bit trickier than the desktop version. If you saw the desktop version a few minutes ago on the first half of this video, you'll see it's a slightly different here. So here's what I'm going to do. Like the desktop version, I'm going to go into stock photos and I typed in land and I'm just going to pull the same photo right here. I can go to up on top, canvas, clip canvas and clip canvas makes the photo the canvas the same size as the photo so now it all fits in very nicely so to find histogram it's a little bit different you need to I'll put the question mark on the bottom here on the bottom right and what it's doing is you need to go to metadata studio which is the picture of the camera right here so, and there it is and in metadata studio is the histogram so I'm not going to do that first what I'm going to do first now is I, because there are no controls in the histogram, I'm going to go to adjustments up here and I'm going to go to curves and open up the spline down here and watch. Now I'm going to go to that photo right here and it, there's my histogram and as long as I click on top the little tack up there, the thumbtack holds it in place. So now while I'm using the histogram, watch this. I want you to watch on top here and watch down what I do here. If I move the bottom right here to the right and watch the histogram up on top and see how right where it is right here in the center of that peak it cuts it off. So that's how you slide the histogram over one way. I'm going to put that back and now I'm going to move the top 
watch there I'm gonna move it halfway up and what it did was it cut off if you're looking see the more you go this way the more it starts showing up on the bottom here so that's how you kind of uh, pull things and stretch them out now if you want to squeeze them you go the opposite way on the bottom left if you go up watch the histogram as I go up whoops I'm trying to grab it there you go and now you've squeezed it over I'm gonna go a little bit less and now if I go down this way down you've squeezed it in so that's how you show that's how you basically have sliders on a histogram let me reset this to where it was reset now you can go to RGB. I should have shown this in the other one and I forgot. Instead, I mean, I'm sorry, in master. Instead of master, you can pick a pick like a red. Let's do the blues because I think they're showing more blue. So I'm going to choose blue and do it now. And you're only affecting the blues. So if I go that way, that's the blue channel. And if you go down this way, that's the blue. You're moving the blue channels. So it really works exactly the same way, only you can use the curves to see the histogram up on top. So I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you did, please click like and subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks so much.